All right, it is one o'clock central, so we will get started. Welcome everyone and thank you for tuning in to today's webinar, New Agriculture Learning Tools, Models to Demonstrate Simulation for Hands-On and Remote Skill Learning. My name is Emily Klinsky. I'm on the marketing team here at RealityWorks. I will be behind the scenes assisting our presenter today, Jamie McIntosh. Jamie is one of our product managers here at RealityWorks. He's been with the company for a little over nine years and came to us with an extensive education background as a former educator who taught in Colorado and in Wisconsin. His topics cover student engagement, technology in the classroom, gaming, filling the skills gap, business education, and various agriculture and welding topics. He is a fantastic resource for today's webinar. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and pass things over to Jamie to get us going. Thank you very much, Emily. Um, really appreciate you taking the time and um, excited to, uh, to kind of have um, you here with us and to discuss some of the uh, products that are new to agriculture this year, 2020. Um, what a year it is so far. Um, so hopefully this will get you excited and, and um, maybe focused a little bit on um, some of our ways to demonstrate and teach and to learn with students, but also um, how to do it in different ways than maybe we've ever had to do it before. So with that said, um, we're going to get started. Just a few reminders from our uh, Zoom world that we're in today. Um, if you do have questions, there is a chat section down at the bottom. You can go on down, down there and click on that um, and ask a question. Uh, if it is something that you're interested in right away, um, that helps us then kind of know what is the question and be able to answer it as we talk through this. There's also a question answer area. You can answer the same thing there. Um, usually the question answer, we might get uh, to it a little later in the presentation, but we'll make sure that there's a time at the end that we answer your questions as we go through. So want this to be something that um, is helpful for you. And uh, as you can see, I'm surrounded by different uh, agriculture products, um, things that we want to share with you and, and help you to get started in the world that you're in, either remote learning or if it's a face-to-face um, -face, um, activity. So let's get started here today. Um, again, this is the new agriculture learning tools, and we're going to demonstrate and talk about some of the simulations that we have. So I want to talk first about ways to teach and learn. And so again, this is something that we continue to promote and continue to talk through um, with our uh, customer base, base with the teachers that I talk to every day in agriculture, um, because we're in a different world right now. And so some of the things that we got to continue to focus on is some teaching options that are out there. So one of the things that um, is part of that is, uh, and I should just say is the lecture side. Now we have here in the slide remote lecture because sometimes you have to be doing that remotely. Sometimes you might be able to do that in the classroom depending on what situation you're in. And I'm hearing it throughout the country all over um, really the, the different ways that you are using um, teaching and, and options in that case. Um, then a lot of times too brings into that presentation world. And we're gonna talk about our products and, and how you can help with the pre presentation world. Um, and then uh, including activities. How do you get your students doing and interacting in different ways? Um, and then finally kind of going into um, hands-on uh, interactive where the students get to not only learn from simulation, learn from demonstration, but then also, okay, how can we help them do it themselves? And then finally, including things like research projects, helping them to understand um, that world around. So just to talk a little bit about remote learning. One of the things that we're doing here is we are talking with you and interacting with you um, from a remote setting. What this means is kind of in that world of we're talking, we're interacting. There are different ways you can go about doing that. You can have students ask questions. Sometimes you can open it up for questions um, and have them talk to you. But there's that um, remote lecture, that ability for you to interact. Usually they like to include presentation slides with it. What you're seeing now is just that, that ability to present and interact um, with your, your student population, but also that visual side, giving them that visual as well as the audio to be able to understand and kind of walk through what you're doing. Um, we'll come back and talk through all these as we go through. And something that we're going to talk about is the activity side. How do you now start to interact and give different activities? And we're going to go through different products that we have here, but with these products, as they're interacting and working, 
um, uh, what are we focusing on and how are we getting them activities to then be able to not only just hear what you're saying, but how can we help them with um, adding things that they can then um, interact with. Okay, now the interaction then, that activity could be something where, and, and I have one of our, um, our uh, greenhouse insects right now, it might be something where you're using lecture, using PowerPoint, but now it's an activity. How are they going to then interact with what you're giving them, um, what they're learning, and that's a big piece, and that's where that hands-on learning is what something we're going to talk about. Um, <laughs> that hands-on learning then is what are you going to include with them? And there's different ways to do that. And sometimes, um, depending on where you're at and what you're allowed to do, it might be sending something home with them. It might be them allowing to bring home some of our products to be able to have a hands-on learning experience for uh, a few days, a week, depending on what your schedule is. Um, a lot of times I'm hearing that the in-class side of it is a two days a week. Maybe it's a Monday, Tuesday, or maybe it's three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then they're out of class for a certain part. Maybe it's 100% remote, but they can come in and they can get a, um, uh, assignments or textbooks or things. Maybe that's the time where you include different hands-on opportunities, um, letting them use and then bring back in. There's cleaning involved. There's things that need to be done there, but all of our products are, are very user-friendly not only for the students to use, but also for the ability to clean and then to get back out into the field. And when I say the field, students using, interacting with these things. And then the final thing is, um, as we talk about some of the things that we are going to show and share with you today, as we talk about curriculum, as we talk about different products that we, we have, there's also a side where allowing students to um, quote unquote research, being able to say, okay, what do you have at your fingertips how can we start working to get you to understand by doing some more in-depth type research? So again, we're gonna go through and kind of present on these different topics that we've talked about here um, as we show some new products for 2020. So <clears throat> what we call them, and, and a lot of things that we are focusing on is our product um, for learning. The focus here is, is how do we get students to learn in the agricultural setting? So I want to just talk through some of our products here and kind of the overarching view of our products. We have a lot of different products um, from really kind of our bovine educational models. That first one that we have and, and kind of focused on is the artificial insemination, our bovine breeder, which then led us to bring us to our bovine injection, allowing you to actually inject into um, <coughs> the neck region. These are great products that has allowed students to be able to bring the, the animal, if you want to say, out of the classroom, into the classroom through using simulation, allowing them to be able to see and understand. We also have things like our cow model. Our cow model has allowed us to then be able to um, bring the, the uh, anatomy of the cow into the classroom, open it up, see what's on the inside, see how it's interacting and, and how you're working. Um, then we also have our milking utter simulator, our 3D flip chart. These are, are opportunities for students to get hands on and learn deeper about the different products, as well as our meat cut poster. What we're bringing to the world right now and, and trying to help you interact are things like our calf simulator. Our calf simulator sitting next to me here is a life-size representation of a calf um, where students can actually interact with it. They can do castration. They can do um, esophageal tube feeding. They can interact with the animal itself in the classroom. Now, in that case then, how about in a remote setting? This is where, again, you as the teacher, by having this, by using it, can help your students to understand what's happening on the farm when you can't go to the farm. It allows you to do this interaction, to be able to do uh, uh, lectures, to be able to do demonstrations as a teacher, to be able to show that. Now, another model that we have is our uh, small cow model set. Now, what you can see here is I have one located right here. The size of it is the, the size of a small cow. It can be taken apart. Different parts of it can actually be removed and it can actually be taken apart so you can see and interact with the insides, the anatomy of the, the cow and what's going on. Behind me, there are four more models just like it. So it comes as a set of five. This is one of those places where 
um, remote learning, you might be able to take these and actually send it out with your students. Let five different students have one cow for a week at a time and then bring it back in. This is maybe where that research part comes in. Have them do research, have them do different, inter, uh, in, different curriculum activities that come with the, the products where they then maybe can teach another group of students. Or when it gets passed on to another group, the, the five units to another um, group of students, they can interact and say, what did you like? What did you see? How did you interact with it? But again, as you can see on this, the slide here, we have a, a whole breadth of bovine educational models that we're bringing, trying to get you and your students to understand and be able to um, see what they can then learn when they can't go out to the farm, when they can maybe be in the classroom and interact with it, how can we then help you in the classroom? Now, our swine education models, you can see there's a few, uh, it's a smaller grouping, but what you can see here is really starts with the same thing. We have a, um, uh, a pig model that can be taken apart, just like our cow model, but it is in large size. So it's a uh, um, a about one sixth size of a pig and be able to see what's going on and, and interact with, okay, all the different features of the anatomy and being able to understand how the systems work in the product itself. We then have smaller models where you can go and actually have the uh, <laughs> reproductive system or the digestive system and learn just those models. Some other pieces that we brought out are things like our <laughs> fetal um, uh, uh, fetal pig um, uh, model, where you can actually take it apart, see how the systems work. And then our uh, meat cut poster includes pork cuts, so you can go through and kind of see all that. Our newest product is here sitting next to me, is our swine breeder, allowing you not only to do um, AI, so being able to go through and do um, swine breeding, but we also have in here, take it out here, is our piglets. And so it also shows you um, how piglets then are <coughs> being born. And it actually allows you to go through the process of um, having the, the farrowing of, of your pigs. And so it walks you through what are different problems that can happen and then allow students to interact. So it comes with um, that opportunity for you to have your piglets and be able to go through and to teach the farrowing process. Again, in this time, in a remote world, in a lecture world, in a time where you wanna interact with students, these are different options for you to then be able to interact with those students being able to show them how it's done, being able to do videos of what's going on, having them talk to you about what should be happening next, allowing you to say, okay, you teach me, here it is in this um, remote world, you teach me what should happen next or what this is called or how it is done. Walking through those with students can be very helpful. All right, <laughs> going to another world from our um, kind of focusing in our animal science world to now our plant science world. So we really kind of have different things where we have a plant science kind of curriculum, a seven day curriculum that starts out to get students understanding that it includes models, it includes uh, flashcards, it includes a trivia game that you can play remotely or you can do it in the classroom, allowing them to understand that world. We have other things like our uh, dicot flower, dicot um, uh, stem, allowing you to get an understanding of what that world is. <laughs> Being able to include different scenarios in horticulture and um, in a plant science world there. And then we also have things like our um, uh, corn model and then our corn stock. Another thing that we've included this year is getting students to understand greenhouse insects. And so we have replication of those greenhouse insects. So all of this is trying to flesh out and giving different options for you as in, um, instructors, as teachers to be able to find different ways to include and in, interact with them. So let's dig in a little bit to some of these new products that we have in 2020. In the agricultural world, we have included some. Now, some of them may be more useful and um, helpful in the classroom and for you as a demonstrator and teaching them. Now, as time changes, as we get back in the classroom more and more, that then can involve more hands-on activities. 
some of these are allowing you to be able to use them as hands-on activities. Being able to have the greenhouse insects go out to, um, there's eight of them, so you can go out to eight different um, uh, um, homes. Being able to have them dig into researching certain types, or maybe you send it out um, per week for different students. Giving them opportunities throughout the semester to be able to um, kind of go more in depth be able to touch and feel to do that hands on, but more on an individual basis or in a group basis in that sense, depending on what you can do in this time. So let's talk a little bit about some of our products more on an in depth level. First one here is our calf simulator. All right, it has things like ear tagging, it allows you to do esophageal feed, uh, tube feeding, um, injections, blood tail draw, and then, uh, um, or excuse me, tail blood draw, and then navel swelling diagnosis and castration. You can actually castrate this animal here and be able to show <coughs> how to surgically do that. It allows you to do those types of things. This is something where in your world, you could do this as a demonstrator, be able to show the students. You can videotape it. You can show them how it's done, have them watch it, have questions. We also include with our products um, different uh, lessons. Another thing that I want to kind of share with is we actually have lessons not just on um, how to care for it, but in this case, how to do health assessment. So in the sense of uh, uh, TPR, you know, have your students learn the different types of um, things that are going to be needed in a remote world. Temperature, pulse, resp respiration, what's going to be the problems? How do you know if they are in acceptable range or in um, some, some problem or extreme areas there? Talking through that. Have them kind of work in their own world with some of those types of things. Can, they, can you work through in a remote setting some of those things like temperature, like pulse? How do you find it? Where would it be? Get them to understand it. So then when you get the chance, or if you get the chance to come in and do it in a setting where it's a smaller group, or maybe it's a whole class setting, now they can practice it. Do that learning and understanding um, away and then bring it into the, to the, to the classroom. We talk about it in education a lot, things like a flipped classroom. When the students are in the classroom answering those questions, getting those things kind of um, understand when they're away, having them um, be able to do some of that kind of teaching and that learning. This is kind of the opportunity to do some of that work, <laughs> being able to change things a little bit, having um, students be able to see it a little differently and having them maybe ask the questions or, you know, at times we do, you know, stump the educator or stump the teacher and have them ask the questions and be able to pull out your calf simulator to be able to say, okay, let's walk through this. Let's talk through this because you have it on site and being able to use that. All right. Things like um, lung sounds and respiration. What's going on? How does that interact? What does that mean for the healthy animal? Um, what can you do with those things? Another product that I want to talk about here, and I'm going to um, grab it back here and bring it forward, is our bovine AI service kit. Now, this works with our, uh, um, uh, our bovine breeder product. All right. In this case here, it has nine different cervexes and they're um, focused up here. And I'm going to try to um, just show you here. Um, stop sharing my screen for a moment so then you can actually see my um, view here. And by doing that, what I want you to be able to hopefully see a little bit better is that in here, there are nine different cervexes that we have. And with each cervix, and uh, you can kind of see maybe in this uh, visual here, is they have different um, uh, coloration. So there's a blue one, there's a green one, um, and then there is a yellow one, all right? These are um, different sizes, as well as every single one inside has a different cervix fold to it. So for this, you have nine different cervixes that your students can actually go in with an AI um, gun and go through and learn proper AI technique and manipulation of the cervix. Now, in this case, we have some smaller ones here. We have larger ones. It allows you to be able and students to be able to try different cervixes. And the kind of a, a, a little note is that you can go in one way 
and it's going to go through and there's going to be different folds. You can flip around, go in the other way, and it's going to be different folds. So there's different options on every single one for you to use. Now, what this is doing, what this allows you to do, is it allows you then to go in and have students do this practice, even if they don't have the bovine <laughs> breeder. Or if you want them to have more opportunity to do this, it works with bovine breeders, so you can switch them in and out. But maybe it's something where you can send these home. You can send this home with some students and allow them to be practicing and understanding what's going on, and then bring it back, um, clean them off, and send them off again. All right, with that here, let me share my slide once again. So another piece of this puzzle is talking about um, just artificial insemination in general is moving on and going into other worlds. So one of our big um, pieces of the puzzle is cow insemination. So bovine insemination. We have brought out our swine inseminator, and this whole purpose again is again to help with landmarks, being able to get students to be able to understand what are the important parts of it, how it works, because it's much different than bovine or, um, insemination and, and how the reproductive system works. And then we also, and like I kind of showed early, earlier, included the ability for you to actually <clears throat> insert in here <laughs> through the reproductive tract, um, two piglets that allow you to be able to then go through the whole process of farrowing, actually walking through. Now, this is sitting up here on um, this uh, tabletop right now, and so it allows you to be able to walk through and inter interact with how the reproductive system works, but it's also something where this can be put on the ground and go through the actual um, process. You can sit on the back here, you can go through <coughs> getting the um, sow ready for standing heat, what's, what's happening in there, and then you can actually do insemination. It also allows you to go through and in, um, include the birthing process or the farrowing process for um, the piglets. And so you can talk through, and our curriculum includes a lot of different focuses on the different systems that we're talking about here. So in one case here, it goes through, um, our curriculum goes through the reproductive system. All right, it talks through what the different features and what are the, the parts that you're going to actually go through. So there's a training and a, and a presentation, a learning piece, there's a hands-on piece, and there can even be research of talking through, okay, <laughs> fair on, what are the problems that can happen? How do you, um, uh, negate those problems? What can you do to help in that world? <clears throat> Another pro product we have is our cow five pack. Now in this case here, um, it includes five of these um, smaller models where students then can interact. You can interact with these and they include different curriculums and different opportunities for you that walk you through. And so you can actually take out the um, different parts here. So I'm going to take them Long off here and then take out the actual reproductive system. I'm sorry, the ruminant system. All right. In this case, then I can open it up. I can see inside the slide that you have. You can have your students actually going through and making sure they're following through what's going on. You can talk about the different systems and what's going on where students could actually have these at their home, be able to um, use these or in the classroom, put it on a table so you can have groups of students interacting with it and being able to know what the different places and the different uh, um, areas are and how this all works together. What is going on in all the different places of the animal itself. Um, so they can actually see it, feel it, interact with it, especially if you can't have it um, an actual animal on site. <clears throat> it also then goes through the different areas from reproductive system as well. So our curriculum really hits on a lot of different areas in this world. <clears throat> now, another product <coughs> world that we want to talk about is in the plant science world. This is <coughs> our greenhouse insect kit. And it's a great kit because it gives a lot of information um, for your students. Up in the uh, top here, it shows all the different types of, um, or eight of the, the main types of insects that you're going to see or your students might see in the greenhouse. At the same time, it has flashcards showing what kind of 
um, class? Are they a sucking class? Um, are they a chewing class? Where do they fit in there? And then we have larger than life size models here allowing you, and I'm gonna again, stop sharing my screen here for a second. So hopefully you can see a little bit better, larger models allowing for you to see the, um, uh, the textures, the inner workings of each of these insects. So it has the, the, um, the mouthpiece, if you want to say, the mouth of each of these. So you can see, okay, is it a chewing? Is it a sucking? What are the coloration that I should be looking for? What is it that I should be understanding about each one of these when I'm in a greenhouse and looking to see, okay, what is causing harm to my plants? So again, it allows a larger than life replication, but it's something that it comes with eight insects. It allows your students to be able to interact and have hands on or to be able to present this to them as well and go through that. Another product that we have, and I don't have it um, here because of the size and the space I have, but is our corn model. Another one that has been out there and um, doing very well and something that students really like and teachers like is for the ability for the different types of leaves that are on it. It walks through the different um, issues that come with the leaves. <laughs> this helping you, in this case, understand what the problem is. So if you have an iron deficiency, what are you gonna do with that? If you have a potassium deficiency or a potassium issue, what do you need to do? What is it that would then make this plant be more healthy? And so there's quality leaves and also deficiencies and showing those different issues that are a part of that plant. <clears throat> Last thing I wanna talk about is our hydroponic systems. Now, again, remote learning can sometimes be <clears throat> more difficult, but this is something where with remote learning, we also wanna share with you is um, within this, <clears throat> one of the things that can, can um, be kind of helpful is being able to show students the growth. And maybe they can't be in, in the classroom right now. How do you help them um, in a world where you can still show them the growth, show what's happening and being able to, to talk through what is happening, even if they can't be there. Now, if they can, this is a great opportunity for them to be able to be hands-on, looking from week in to week out, what's going on with the growth, what's happening. And so we have two different options here. One is our plant lab unit, and this allows you then to grow, and each shelf has its own nutrient system, own lighting system, own, own uh, uh, fan system, so wind system, and it allows you to be able to create every single plant on each shelf, could be different types of plants, as well as different types of um, opportunity there for learning in that sense. Now, our plant producer, um, along the same lines, this is a larger unit, but it has one system down in the bottom here where the doors are. This then feeds the whole system, allowing you to produce a lot more plants um, on the same level. You can leave it for a longer period of time and be able to um, get produce from it as well. So if you're looking for different opportunities for growth, and in a place where you may not be able to get outside, you may not be able to go outside. And as we come into different seasons where you can still have this as a closed product in your classroom to be able to use year round. Lastly here is we have different scenario cards. This may be something where in your world, you wanna do different scenarios every Friday maybe, or every end of the week or beginning of the week. Here are different workplace scenarios that might be something to get your students starting to think. What is the situation that they may have to be in someday in their world? So we have different workplace scenario cards allowing you to talk through and interact with your students. Usually they include some sort of icebreaker activity, a journaling activity, and then some sort of assessment where you can then interact with them and see what did they learn, what did they take it. All right, they go through different examples. Um, this one here, responsibility. And then it goes into things like points to, of views to consider and then questions to be asking, allowing that to be able to be a great open-ended conversation, allowing students to be able to journal about that, interact and inter, um, do interface, uh, even if it's remote, with each other about how they would handle different situations. 
Lastly, as we end up our time here, we want to give you um, kind of a help in this world. We have free curriculum resources for you. Thank you for taking the time with us. That could help. That could maybe just bolster what you're doing. The products that you see here all come with curriculum. Now, this curriculum we have put out on our website for free for you. All you need to do is go to our website, website realityworks.com, go to learn more um, with our COVID-19 response, and click on the guides and curriculum area. It's the third button down, if you want to say, guides and curriculum. In this case, then it will take you to um, all the different products we have, and it will allow you to be able to get access to our curriculum free of charge. So in this case here, as you can see, um, it allows you to go in, go to download of the curriculum, and what happens is it will bring you into a downloadable file where you can then get all of our curriculum and all of the different PowerPoints and different things that are there. Going back to how we started this whole conversation, looking at things like our, um, our lecture, looking at our presentation opportunities. This then gives you those PowerPoints, gives you those slides, gives you that opportunity to be able to use free of charge. And that's by going to our website. We also have a career exploration opportunity for you here. You can go into our website and we have seven different lessons on careers focusing on agriculture exploration. So in this case here, it includes different worksheets, different activities, different uh, PowerPoint slides, where you can show all the different types of career exploration options, and then how do you actually apply and work on some of these types of careers. So with that, just wanna remind you, with our time here, you can go to our website and get these free resources, and wanna open it up to you, um, again, <laughs> just to walk you through it one more time, you go to our website, COVID-19 response, hit the learn more, and that brings you into the ability to actually get these, um, these free curriculums. With that, we have a few minutes. We'd love to have, if you have any questions, um, love to answer any questions. Otherwise, we thank you for your time. We thank you for taking the time with us. Hopefully, this will help you in some way as you go out. If you have questions, if you're looking to purchase, feel free to interact with us. You can always call us um, at our toll-free number or you can um, get more information. We have salespeople a lot here that will help you as well. But if you have questions, we'd love to, to hear any questions that you might have. So please feel free to ask those questions in the chat. And if not, we thank you for your time. Thank you for um, interacting with us and, and taking the time today and keep on uh, doing what you're doing. You're doing great things, even in this hard time of a different type of learning style than maybe you've done in the past. So Emily, do we have any questions that you can see here before we end our time? Um, I do have one question. How yep. much weight can the swine handle? <laughs> great question. So this is something, and I had mentioned this in, uh, previous, in the, the conversation here, is um, this is something where it can be set on the floor and you can sit on it. Our weight, the way we did it was we wanted to have it up to 300 pounds. So you could have somebody sitting on it, um, putting their full weight on the back of this, and it is going to be um, acceptable to most any, any uh, a person, most people, the majority of people being able to sit on that. And, and again, you're not always sitting on it. A lot of times you're leaning against it, you're, you're um, holding and going through the process of insemination there, but it is something where it has a high tolerance so you can use it in the classroom, trying to get that realistic feel in that world. So great question. All right, with that said, I thank you for the time that you took and hopefully you um, got something. If you have more questions, feel free to um, send them our way. We also will be sending this out to you um, so you get this uh, and can use it as you see fit. Thank you for your time.